Green Heck. Building value in air. Welcome back to the shop. We're gonna look at that very green motor again. This time, we're gonna use a mobile app and actually look at some of the parameters and do a little bit of troubleshooting. Why don't you come on in here? First thing we need to do is remove the cover from that drive. And to use the mobile app on this one, we will have to procure a Bluetooth copy stick. Once you have this, all you do is open her up, pull the copy stick out, pull the cover off. Now this is gonna go into that RJ45 port. Right there. All right, once we have plugged in our Bluetooth copy stick, you'll notice the little red lock symbol. We're just gonna put our finger on top of that symbol. It'll flash, blue ring, and then the green arrows will show. All we've done here is unlocked that copy stick. Now one more step at the drive, we need to disable the drive. That jumper from terminal one to two, we just need to break that connection. All right, our drive is disabled, our Bluetooth radio is enabled. Now we just need a mobile app. Now that we have our Bluetooth copy stick plugged in, we need a mobile device and the app, ECM Tools. That's the one you're looking for. It's available in Android and iOS. Let's go ahead and connect that. I have now opened up the ECM Tools app. We need to connect to the drive. So we're gonna click that first one. It sees the copy stick. That's the point we're gonna connect through. So let's go ahead and press that. From here, we have a choice. We can monitor, go in and see what's running, how much horsepower it's taking. But what we're gonna go through today is the parameter editor. Now there are three menus here, par A, par L, and RO. There are five main values that we need to check. It's 99% of all the troubleshooting done on these very green motors is through these two menus. Let's look at par L first. Parameter 401, this is a trip log. This will give you the last four faults that this drive has recorded. We'll hit back at the top here, get back to our menu. We can start scrolling down. A couple of notable parameters you can look at. 1300, this allows your remote speed signal to be zero to 10, but we could also pick um, zero to 20, four to 20 milliamp, 10 to zero. You actually have choices here to go through and change your input. We're gonna scroll almost all the way to the bottom here. 2108, this is another parameter we just wanna check on. This is saying if there's a fault, try to restart up to five times before it needs manual intervention. So I do recommend if you're in here, just check and make sure you have option six, auto five selected. All right, now back to those main parameters that we're looking for. The first one we have right here is parameter 9905, the motor rated voltage. Now, if we look over here, this is the label for the motor. This label only has information that the drive needs. There's a second label on the drive for other, you know, what your full load amps is, what size circuit you need. This is strictly information needed to make this motor run with this drive correctly. So 9905 motor rated voltage on the tag here, it is called BEMF and it is found right here. So 124 on the label, I have 124 here. If I needed to change that, I just touch it and you can change it to whatever you need. Now, please keep in mind, the five main parameters we're looking through, these numbers need to be exact. Any discrepancy, even by 0.1, could actually make this motor not function reliably. So, 
The motor rated voltage is back EMF. The second one we're looking at is 9906. This is motor rated current. If we look on the label, that will be listed as FLA, full load amps, 2.4. Here we have 2.4. From here, we're gonna hit back one more time and we're gonna go into the par A menu. In the par A menu, there are these three values right here that need to be verified. 11201, motor stator resistance. As we look at the label, that motor stator resistance is labeled RS. And this shows 5.98 ohms. The next 11203 is motor stator D-axis inductance. This is shown in the label as LD. And the last one is motor stator Q-axis inductance. On the label, that's LQ. So 180.4. We go back to the, menu, the parameter here, 180.4. Now that we've made our changes, all those changes, keep in mind, were live. So as soon as I changed a number, it went straight into the drive and was recorded. So all the changes are made. We just need to button this up. I can now remove the Bluetooth copy stick. I can re-enable the drive. And go ahead and put the cover on. So we just checked the five main parameters that this drive and motor need to have set up. And we saw a couple other parameters along the way that are useful to know are there. If there are any questions that you have, please feel free to call into the GreenHeck customer service group to walk you through any of these parameters. Of course, our website, www.greenheck.com, is an excellent resource along with the IOMs, the installation, operation, and maintenance manuals. Have a great one.